welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I've got an unboxing for you today. Um, now, I did have to open the end of this packaging because the tracking number did not match anything I had um, to figure out what it was, but I haven't taken it out. So, I am excited to look at this fully because this is actually one from Timney Arts on AliExpress. And they do the really nice soft canvas. Um, I mean, you can even see the, the edging round it is. It's beautiful. Um, so it is a poured glue. And I think it, oh no, don't, you can't go that way, can it? Because that's that order. Um, <coughs> this is actually a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. To say it's from Timney Arts on AliExpress. It is a poured glue, so even though it does seem to have, you know, some crinkling as such, um, it will lie flat. It doesn't look as though it has any AB diamonds. Now, some of the Timney Arts do come with AB, um, but you don't tend to know when and what will do. So let me just have a look at the actual listing. So this cost me £12.06. and um, It does come in different sizes. So which size did I order? Okay, so the listing says it's 45 by 73. I did actually order the largest. I don't know why. Um, and the size says 48 by 73. So the question is, do they measure that as the full canvas or as the painting itself? So I'm going to measure the paste area or the drill area. And that is 64. So they do measure the full painting so they say 73 it's not even 73 taken into account the crinkles um, 73 is over here so we are about a centimeter short on that one and then this way crinkle to crinkle is more 47 than 48 48 is a bit of a push um, so maybe that's the size before they put the crinkle in I don't know, I don't know. But the sizing aren't, isn't an exact sizing of the drill area, so bear that in mind. Um, they do use poured glue and their canvases, as I say, are gorgeous. Um, they are this foam backing and it has got quite a few crinkles in it, but I do think, oh, I'm hitting my lights, apologies. Um, you can't see those on the front of the canvas. Yeah, you can see a little bit of one, but in the fact that it's not affecting anything. So as soon as that flattens itself out, that will be fine. Um, but this one has come, it's actually come with 30 colours, considering it doesn't have a lot in it, and it does have a lot of white. So let's have a look at the diamonds. As I say, this one doesn't have ABs. I was kind of hoping there'd be some ABs in this, but you can never tell from the listings whether they do or whether they don't, which is weird. Um, it doesn't come with an inventory sheet, so as long as you've got all your colours, you've got to guess that they're right. But it looks as though they use the packets that contain 500, up to 200, and the ones that include up to 1,000. I'm not even sure if you can see that properly because of, sorry, somebody just came in my classroom. So, um, the three sizes, so you can see there are three different sizes according to colours. Um, you don't have how many you need of each, so I've, I've not had a problem with them before. They have always sent what they needed, but that's something to bear in mind if you do get a diamond painting that comes with an amount of numbers. Um, in fact, they may. Oh no, that's the same size as the 500. 
it just doesn't seem as full as some of the others so maybe they do it by weight um, and that's where the three different sizes come but that gives you an average of what's normally in them we've got lots of beautiful colors so we've got some hints of grays and browns that my guess appear a lot less than the white of which we have a lot but i don't mind doing block colors occasionally so there's no real point in doing inventory on this one apart from i will check that i have all the numbers that are listed um, and they are only listed on the canvas but they do also include um instructions and it does say diamond painting arts enjoy your funny trip okay i don't know if that's supposed to say fun rather than funny but um it does advise to check the package which has a canvas tools and a series of diamonds and um, i will show you the tools in a minute it tells you what the tools are it tells you to find the corresponding number and to put the pen into the glue pour diamonds into the tray find the corresponding symbol um, to place it down and then it does say press, press the canvas with the book or the hand to get a better effect so that will be to stick down the diamonds and make sure they're stuck um, when you roll it keep the diamond piece, pieces facing outside that stops them popping off um, and you can decorate it decorate your art painting by frame or hang it on the wall so we do have full instructions with pictures um, and then the tool kit is a basic green boat we get a blue pen rather than a pink pen I have not found any difference apart from the color uh, we do get a very small piece of wax um, now I wouldn't use this amount of wax on this size painting anyway but that is very small considering some people can use more wax when they first start because they're a bit more heavy handed um, and then you get the grand sum of five baggies um, for putting your diamonds in so all in all average toolkit um, but I do like quality of their canvases which is why I decided to get another tin the arts and I was kind of hoping we'd have some AB but we don't so um, so just in case you can't figure it out um, this is a flamingo painting and we've got the reflection of the flamingos um, let me show you the it up full so that is the original picture and as I say they do three sizes and this is what we get and I'm happy with that I'm happy with the quality of that say so I will check that the numbers match and um, the symbols to show you the symbols are extremely clear on Timney Arts I don't find there's any problem and um, they do have like the little circle training wheels around the symbols but they're paler than other companies do so while they are there um, they're not distracting if you don't line it up exactly um, they do look to be a little bit smaller than the actual drills will be as well but until I actually mess about with it I can't confirm that. but yeah beautiful drills and yeah I can roll this painting up because it's poured glue so it can be stored rolled um, and then I will just make sure to, to flatten it out or roll it the other way more often than not before I start working on it now it's it's a whole debate then when you do it do you start with the 310 and get the 310 out the way or do you start at the bottom and get all this white out the way I think I'm going to start at the bottom with this one and um, I choose where to start based on the picture I know some people do it according to whether they're right-handed, left-handed and how they have the painting, but I'll work on it upside down, roundabout. Um, so I'm more than likely going to start down here. Um, when a painting's new, I especially don't mind um, doing blocks of colour. It's like the beginning of a painting and then I'll probably do it in sections. So by the time I get up here, 
you know we've got a bit of variety with the symbols that I'm using so we've got a bit of confetti and then as I move up we'll have we'll have batches of blank space before we start getting to a lot more confetti and the picture coming to life so that tends to be the way I work but yeah I thought I'd show you that I've got no idea when I'm going to get this one done um, but I am looking forward to it and we got that look at those pretty colours aren't they gorgeous even with all the white they're pretty but anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon